Oh, what's up, people? What's up, and welcome back to Turbo Life Plays No Man's Sky. Episode 113. Rolling. We are rolling. We are riding. We are cruising on the Black Hole Expressway today. They announced a contest over at blackholesuns.com log your black holes win fabulous prizes link will be in the description basically they're giving away vr gear for the ps4 the pc and a really nice sizable gift card for the xbox players out there so get on black hole suns log your black holes do all the things get the tickets win the prizes that's the name of the game here tonight we are going to be jumping Black Hole to Black Hole is exclusively just raging, trying to get those entries, having fun as we go. So if you're new here, we're playing on the PC in survival mode. We set the simulation episode 69. Go back and watch those for more adventure and excitement. Today we're logging Black Holes. Let's get the simulation loaded up and let's get into it. So if we're gonna do it, then let's not do it for anything that doesn't make an impact. That can't really change things or push the boundaries. Let's make sure it's insanely ambitious. And let's make sure that we savor the journey every single step of the way. And tonight we aren't savoring, we are going full bore through the black holes, so got the old bright mother mk4 let's take a look i think we've got okay we got several warp cells and a full hyperdrive to boot so i need to get out here i wanted to track um so uh, so anyway yeah last night was sunday recorded to monday's episode sunday night uh failed to um failed to uh, upload the last black hole I did last night, which turned out to be good because I got uh, an entry right away in the in the black hole contest when I entered that in this morning, being Monday. Um, I wanted to. I didn't write down how far we got at the end of last episode as far as distance to the center. So it looks like it was five hundred and ninety-five thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight light years when we finished up so we went from 612 to 595 so that's that's a pretty good haul what is that that's um 10 that's 17,000 light years a little under 17,000 because of the uh, the change there but um yeah that was i didn't i didn't feel like we traveled that far last episode uh but i guess we did so so yeah so there you go um, so tonight, uh, like I said, uh, was loading up the episode this morning and saw the announcement uh, that the Black Hole Suns guys put together this uh, dope, um, dope contest where if you log every ten uh, in and out, every ten pairs in and out logs, uh, logging a black hole entry and exit point, I should say, gets you one ticket, and I think you can earn up to uh, ten tickets. And then if you go beyond that, which would be 100 black hole sets, uh, then you actually get bumped up. I think it's like 15. Um, I, I don't remember. I don't know what it is. I'm going to link link it in the description below. It'll be the first link in the description below for the Black Hole Suns project. Uh, and you guys can go check that out. So we're going to just be, we're just going to be jumping. I don't have much time. Uh, the wife and kids... Uh, said they were going to go out do some shopping so I could record my episode early. So it is a balmy, like, 90-some degrees out here where I'm at. And it, the trailer warms up when it gets that hot outside. So uh, it's a little warm. 
Not gonna lie, but uh, hopefully the computer doesn't overheat and we do all the good things. So I'm still gonna try to head in the direction of the center. And so if I think, if I put it here, right? Let me um, click off of that. And we're just gonna kinda zoom along the center path. And I don't know if this is like the best strategy, but I kinda wanna continue heading towards the center while logging black holes. So here's one, and we're just gonna go. Pretty sure, yeah, I hit up that space station for um, some technology for my for my ship here, but um, yeah, doing good. I'm excited to be um, doing some black holes. Maybe uh, win that VR system for the PC. That'd be that'd be pretty sick. Here we are, first black hole. We're gonna zip right on down to the unknown planet. We're gonna log these bad boys in real time as fast as we can. I also learned that there is a utility for the PC that will automatically log your black holes. And actually, to save, actually, you know what? Save time tonight. I am not going to enter them in on my phone in real time. I am just going to screenshot the data, and this is going to. I'm just going to do it as fast as we can. Just race, see how many black holes we can log, basically in one hour, because uh, that's that's when the wife is going to get the wife is going to come back with with the kiddos, and then it's pretty much. Pretty much impossible to do anything because my kid's crazy. Uh, so let's see. So there's. Oh, but you can't take a screenshot right here. All right. Well, um, what am I gonna do? I am going to. I'm, I know you can do it with Steam or whatever, but to just expedite everything, I'm just gonna take it with my phone. You know what are you gonna What are you gonna do? And this raw off. And, um, okay, there's black hole number one. Got it. And well, the beauty of this planet is unmatched. It is an extreme sentinel planet. And, um, we're just gonna bug on out of here. I'm going to hit up the space stations in the black hole systems. Um, oh, and then I want to do this really quick. i got to get the data information. So i got to do, got to make sure I do this right the same every time. I'm going to do the uh, coordinates and then system information. And I guess if I screw it up, I always can go back and look at the... Uh, the video to make sure I did it right. But I'd be interested in looking into whatever that utility is that automates uh, the entry of black holes, it sounded like, in the Cobra subcast tonight. I'll uh, go ahead and link his information in the link below as well since he, uh, he is supporting this. And then, uh, you know, Gaming Mike who got me into black hole uh, data collection in the first place back when it was on the Google Docs spreadsheet method which was hideous to say the least and uh, uh, really kind of hard to run on the computer but it was so cool that um, we could run run this information and, and uh, log these black holes that it was totally worth it so Let's see, a photon cannon module. You know, I do need a photon cannon module, right? I'm pretty sure. Photon cannon module, yes. Yes, for my starship, because I have one, two, three. Yep, I can do a photon cannon module for shizzle. I will take the photon cannon module, sir. S class, oh, that's a pulse engine. Photon cannon S class. 
Then there's the S-Class Hyperdrive. I could buy that and just keep it. I don't know. Buy and keep it. No, let's get out of here. We gotta get moving. I only, like I said, I only got about an hour. We're just gonna be sprinting around, capturing some black hole data. And here we're, we're ten minutes into the, ten minutes into the recording, and haven't even logged one yet. But we're gonna, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it going. We're gonna get it done. All right, we need to zip on over here towards the black hole. Whoa. The thing that's going to kill me is switching my ships all the time, I think. It's too bad I'm not... Apparently there's guys out there that, like, set their, uh... Uh, their ship, their, um... Their Explorer-class ship, they... Whoa! <laughs> they set their Explorer-class ship up so that they can... They can fly through the black holes and uh, not sustain any damage somehow or something like that so I don't know I guess I would be eager to learn how that works but uh, nonetheless is this my ship over here yeah we're gonna just be switching switching out to my black hole jumper and then back into the back into the old explorer and just jump in those black holes so I'm gonna take a picture nope 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 it's not how you take pictures I don't know if I want to waste time taking pictures of every black hole I meet or what you know something like this maybe Boom, all right, let's get going. Wasting time, burning daylight. Yeah, that's right, buddies. You're gonna have to follow me through this black hole. You wanna get my, my technology, which is more than likely what you want. So I had also read um, that you can, if you're warping or going through the black holes, Going through the black holes on these outer rings of the ga of the universe or the gal I forget whatever it's called the outer edge of where we're at in Eisentam. Every jump is going to get you. Every time you go through a black hole, you're gonna get closer. Uh, no matter what, is what I've heard. Look, we traveled one just over almost 1.1 million light years there. All right, so we're gonna switch back. Do the good ship, because I don't want to get caught up in any space battles with my junker. I can beat them, but it's just a little easier if I got the good ship, you know what I mean? Okay, now we are here, let's jump out. Go get... Oh, everybody always moving my ships around. Okay, so we need to go get our coordinates first. Come on, there we go. I was going to scan this to see what it was. Too late now. Right, any place to land? I don't have to burn up a burn up my landing fuel. What about this over here? What's this? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we're just going to land here. Dang, look at that planet right there. I'm going to take a picture of that. Man, I can't get caught up taking all these pictures, though. 
All right, we're howling gales, low security, copious, all the things. All right, we're gonna take a picture. Gotta take a picture of this thing. All right, just the way it goes sometimes, guys. You know, that just that just fits. Done. All right, we're gonna take um, this guy signal booster. And a picture of the exit system. Okay, yeah, got it. Alright. Get out of here. Let's get doodle. Okay, and then let's see. How far did we travel? Got our exit information there. We're down to 500, uh, 589,000 light years. So uh, we went we went a little ways, about 6,000 light years, right? Do we go to the space station? I'm gonna skip it. Uh, we're in a declining system. I don't really think it's gonna have anything super special. I do wanna go to the um, yeah galactic core. Where is that at? There it is, okay. There's a black hole right here. Uh, let's log it. I don't know if it's better to like just try to do your full jump range in the direction of the core, or if you just hit any whatever the closest black hole is and then go. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do kind of a combo of, the, of each, maybe. Here we are. Let's get a nice shot of this black hole. Okay, we gotta go to whatever the closest planet is, probably over here. Paradise planet with the star bulbs and the coppers and the paraphaniums and the cobalts. Yeah, so if you guys can't tell, I'm talking, you know, I'm not as subdued as usual, mainly because it's not past my bedtime and there's no kids sleeping, you know, 15 feet away from where I'm trying to, uh, trying to adventure my heart out, you know what I mean? Look at this. Oh, that thing's pretty cool. Gosh darn, why am I finding all this cool stuff all of a sudden? Okay, Mellow Limited. Oh, this is gonna get me. All right, so we need to get... Need to get the coordinates of our exit point here. And since we're here, I mean, oh, we, we got to do this thing. I'm going to have to take a picture of it because this I've never been to uh, whatever this is. I forget what they're called. And this one is actually uh, pretty cool. So let's take a look what the story says. Maybe to Seagram, Seagracun. Ooh, traveler, back, future. My movement seemed normal, but everything else is running faster than it should. The sun spins around the globe in seconds. Days endlessly turn to night and back again. The creatures that gaze and hunt around sight pass by in a blur. I am trapped in a time vortex. Numbers on my multi-tools seem to tick higher and higher. The closer I get to the monolith, the more disturbance is added to the timeline. Hmm, the closer I get, more disturbance. Move away. What does it want me to do? Back? Okay, we'll move away. Boom, I step out into the future. My experiment, my experience is unchanged, but galactic interest rates have had an effect on my unit count. Boy, look at that. Dang.
boy, once those ground tessellations pop in, it really gets all crazy, huh? Sometimes it takes a minute for my computer to do that. That's the way of the world. All right, take a picture. Let's get going. I got to go get this knowledge cube. Knowledge stone, I guess. Corvax word for healing. Hop in my ship before that thing blasts me. Go up through the hole in the rock and we're out of here. Okay, once we're up into space, we gotta collect our system information. Right, okay. I didn't. Did I already get these things out of order with them? Okay, I got coordinates. System information, coordinates, system information, coordinates, system information. Alright, we're good. Alright, so we're in a black. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 what is this? How did I get to there? The farmer home base. What did I press? I pressed X or something. What? Okay, let's. I, uh, what did I do? I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> I, press, I, don't, I don't know all these. I don't know these buttons that I'm pushing. All right, I need to fire up the freighter. Get on our black hole jumper and get our second black hole logged, and then we're and we're pushing like ten minutes per black hole. I want to try to get at least nine black holes um, tonight, so I can at least get one ticket. You know what I mean? And you know what? It's not really even for the prizes. Um, this is just kind of fun. I want to see how many how many you can get, you know. Do something for the community, have fun doing it. Cuz I mean, if it, I have a I have a is it a Windows I forget what it's called. A Windows uh, mixed reality, Microsoft mixed reality headset. Which does VR, I just don't know if uh, No Man's Sky Beyond is going to be compatible with that because if you look on Steam there's Windows Mixed Reality games and then there's then there's uh, Oculus games or uh, whatever the other ones are and they don't have Mixed Reality and then sometimes Oculus and Mixed Realities are supported by the same game too so it's hard to say. Clock, the clock is ticking. Boom, 462 light years. That was a short one. That was a short jump. Oh, I just flew through my eggs. <laughs> flew right through my S class. My S class. All right, well, hopefully my other ship is over here. Is it? Yep. Excellent. All right, so we need to head on down to this planet. This planet looks crazy. I was just thinking if I was doing a live stream and and doing this right now like how messed up would it be if I wasn't like immediately logging these and just taking some pictures and then somebody jacked all my black hole coordinates and entered them under their name uh, that would never happen in the no man's sky community though you know it just maybe but I doubt it okay we got our coordinates. 
And pick up the old signal booster. This is a really nice place. I really like it. Look like there's some butterflies over there. Hopefully I got I have to make some more launcher fuel. I have to get some of that. Some of that, some of that stuff, you know. Oh, what am I doing? I need to uh Sorry, I was looking at my phone and it's getting low on battery juices. All right, so now we gotta get um, the endpoint data here, and we're yeah we're getting closer to the core though, you know 584,000 light years now. Let me make sure I got these here in my phone. We got entry, exit, entry, exit. That's two successful black holes logged, my friends. I just gotta plug my phone in. And we are going to be warping to the next black hole, I think. So I'm going to go along the path. Here's one right here. Is this the black hole system? It looks like there's like two really close. Yep, that's where we want to go. Alright, let's go. I know there's those professional black hole jumpers out there. It's gonna be tough to compete with those guys, but you know what? It only takes one ticket, my friends. It only takes one. Here we are, the off frog system. Let's take a picture. I don't think I want those guys in there. Maybe we'll just do something like this here. Okay. All right, now we're gonna head right on down. Oh, we need to, yeah, we need to head right on down to this planet. Another verdant planet. Got to remember to get some um, threatening sentinels here. Oh my gosh, they got crazy angry animals and threatening sentinels. And now they're after me. And this guy is about you kill me I'm about to die where is my ship oh my god hey where is my shield okay just run I don't know why I can't oh because my shield is over there it's just got a holy cow it got dark really fast and I can't see anything <laughs> oh we almost became a different uh, iteration here where is my ship at? There, it's over there finally. Okay, there's my shield back. Holy smokes. And what a disaster that would have been. Alright, this planet sucks. Let's get out of here. <laughs> did I pick up my uh I think I did, right? I picked it I picked up my uh okay. Holy cow, I turned around, I couldn't see anything. What a, what a, <laughs> what a crappy planet. <laughs> All right, we're headed back out of here. That was, that was way too close. All right, we need to get our um, gal galaxy name information here. Okay, got it. And we're doing this in the right order, right? 
It's all right. Sorry, I don't know why I'm in that menu. All right, we head to the black hole, switch out our ships, and we will be on our way. This is a promising economy. I should almost stop at the space station. But, nah. Okay, let's go find our ship. It might be here. It's probably over here, I guess. Oh, I'm making myself sick here. Zip on into the void, my friends. Black hole number th number three. So we're on set number three is one, two, yeah, this is to finish up three. Okay, where are we at? The Sunyo 2 system. Beautiful, beautiful. I really like it. It's nice. Boom, just over a million light years. Bountiful planet. Be a nice one. <clears throat> Is this a crashed freighter or something? No, it's just a hole in the ground. Boy, this would be a nice little plateau with the valley and the lake and everything, build a base on. Except for the sentinels are frenzied. Okay, here we go. This is the exit coordinates for the system. Oops. And if you guys want a detailed, um, a detailed video on how to log your coordinates on uh, BlackHoleSuns.com, I recommend Gaming Mike's channel. Go over there. He's got specific videos already, already detailing how to do all that. Um, I could make one myself, I guess, if you guys really want, but he's already got it done. And I just don't have a lot of time to be doing all that stuff. So we're down to 50, uh, 578,000 light years to the center. We're just making moves. I'll just double check my uh, pictures here. I got in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, that's three whole black holes all logged up. So we got to find another black hole. Preferably along the center here. So there's one right here. 
Come on, back on there. Holy smokes, what is the deal? There it is. Oh, how come on? How come I can't get on it? There it is. All right, 477 light years we're going. Going to the next one. So that's four. That means I've got five, five entries. This is going to be number six. We're just over halfway through the episode. We could probably pull this off. Get one ticket per episode. Okay, here we are in the zinc hole system. Let's take a picture of the black hole. Beautiful. Okay, and to the nearest planet. Which is our myomastic, my somatic planet with the fungal molds and the kappas and the ammoniums. I keep looking at OBS to make sure this is actually happening and I'm recording and the mic is turned on and all the things that sometimes go wrong when you're playing and trying to record at the same time. So far so good. Looking good. Land right here. Gotta get some dihydrogen on one of these landings if we find a system without crappy sentinels, which we just have. Okay. The Ricola system. Picture. Boom, got it. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna get this, um, the hydrogen, because I'm gonna need it for some more launcher fuel. I can already feel that that's gonna be a thing here. And, oh, here comes the Krabby Cakes. Okay, worn on my welcome I'm out of here. Thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, now we're <laughs> head toward the old uh, black hole here. Oh, getting wild with it. Let's um, get our system information now. We're in a balanced economy. And looking good, medium conflict level. Zip on over here and switch out our ship. Ooh, this is kind of exciting, right? Just, mm, it's like a race. I'm kind of digging it. Holy smokes, mod pulse engine fuel. Hitting the wrong buttons. The switching ships does hurt my time a little bit. I'm kind of counting on the wife to take a little bit longer than she thinks it's going to take on her little uh, shopping adventure right now. But you guys with wives and you women out there listening, you guys know how it is. You get out there, you get shopping, having a good time. Good time. I went shopping uh, on my way home from work. Had I not done that, I would have had a lot more time to play, but I wasn't, you know, wasn't thinking. All right, here we go. Into the black hole we go, where we come out. We do not know until we log it on blackholesuns.com, people. That's right. All right.
All right, here we are. All the freighters, switch out the ships. Ooh, 836,000 light years. Man, that would suck. So I got a whole bag of pistachios sit just sitting here staring me in the face. And I'm like, oh man, it'd be so rude to eat those while I'm playing the game. <laughs> it would just be crunch, crunch, snap. Crunch, crunch, snap. And then I wouldn't be talking at all because pistachios are delicious. Alright, down to this undiscovered unknown planet we go. Gosh, that is a pretty... Let me... Uh, can I get by these stupid asteroids really quick? Alright, there we go. Take a picture. Boom. Alright, I want to do something like this here. And I need to... Get rid of the fog for whatever reason. Not do that. Go here. Widen out that field of view. Just get all that field of view going. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get, get rid of that vignette, you know what I mean? 150, no vignette. Boom, alright. Save. Okay, that's looking pretty dope right there. Can I do one like this here? Oh, that doesn't look as good. Alright. Rainy planet with the star bulbs. Let's go. Gotta go get that exit coordinate data. The wife just confirmed that she's going to be gone a wee bit longer, so we're good to go. Alright, this looks like a nice spot to land. We're just going to go ahead and plop her down right here. Frenzied Sentinels, so we need to make this a quick stop. Quick stop here, got our data. Pick up our signal booster, and we're out of here. Damn, I don't want your fuel. Alright, still got some left. Alright, we're still doing okay. Okay, so now we need to get our system info. We're down to come on, cam come on, phone camera. Freaking out on me here. All right, so just like that, people, we are. Um, oh my goodness. Like that, we've logged one, two, three, four black holes. And um, I'm thinking, see, we got the data, we got the stuff, we got the things, we're in our. Yep, so let's uh, rotate around here and find us another a black hole. I'm going to go all the way to the end here, as far as I can warp out. This looks like a contender here. Can I get to there? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was going to take me there. Right here. Oh, right there. There it is. One planet system. Black hole. Let's go. Boom. Kaboom. All right. So that's. I officially have. This will be. That was my fifth entry, right? Because I've got. We uh, went through four black holes tonight. So that means I've got five entries. So this is going to be number six entry. I get five more. And this is probably actually doing me a favor anyway. Is there any kind of sky features here with this black hole? Wait, where'd the black hole go? There it is. Something interesting. Oh, it's going to take way forever. Let's see. Let me just get the ship in. 
There it is. Boom, that looks somewhat interesting like that. Alright. Uh, yeah, I was, as I was saying, this is actually, I don't want to go to the space station. Actually, this uh, is going to do me a favor because, man, I was really poking along trying to uh, make my way to the center before the Beyond update drops. Okay, so this said Dipar Omega. Is there going to be Diplos on this planet? Dipar Omega. Man, if I find my first Diplo planet and it's during this and I'm like oh I need to stop and take pictures and all that I mean how great but at the same time it's like come on I just I'm just trying to go we'll see just because the name says dip R doesn't mean it's a diplo planet I guess oh the frenzied sentinels again right way Okay, and sure. Anyway, what you guys got to do, I guess, um, you need to land on the planet in the entry and exit systems of the black hole. And you need to go into space and go into the galaxy map. And then you need to capture the, the system name the region name um also you know it's so easy get the, the get the life form and the economy those uh the life form and the economy are alternate or not required for your entry at at blackholesums.com but you know what it's all right there it's nothing it's not an extra step you even have to do so you may as well grab it and record it there's a couple checkboxes on there, like a dead end system, or this, uh, there's a couple different things happening, and I, I don't really know what what those checkboxes mean, to be honest with you. And I haven't had the time to research it at all. So, uh, oops, I didn't want to go into there. I didn't want to go into there. Oh, brakes, brakes, weed hopper! Holy smokes! Oh, I'm too close. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what those other check marks do on the page. It's like a dead end, and uh, if it has a base or, you know, any, any of these other things. So I'm not really sure what. What the information is, and I think you can leave a note for like if if you do find a Diplo system, then you can um, leave a note to that effect. I think I've never left a note, so I don't really know. Holy smokes, I am like right there. We gotta get a picture of that. That looks crazy. Oh yeah, it changes that. Okay, well, just want something like this. All right, whatever. Let's go. Sorry, buddy. I would love. To, I would have loved to come help you out. I'm just, you know, going through a black hole. Sorry. The Hitinski system. Okay, let's bring up the freighter. Boom, almost uh, 944,000 light years. Almost a mil. We'll be getting some kind of shorter jumps here. Usually, I guess it 
I guess it's between 900,000 and 1.1 million light years, so a couple hundred thousand light years difference depending on, you know, what's going on. All right, let's go. Gonna head right on down here to this rocky black frothing planet. I gotta get away from my ship though. Come on, get away from your ship. There we go. And get our coordinates. I'm getting, you know, I'm taking pictures of my phone just because it'll be easier. I don't have to fast forward through the video tomorrow or later tonight to get all my coordinates. Hey, it's a bubble planet. Hello, bubbly. All right. So I guess it's not a huge deal if I screw up. Standard Sentinels here, so that's good. Coordinates captured. Okay, this is a really nice place. Do I have these things? There's two of them right here. I better get them. I think I do, but you know, you just. Oh, those are the animals. Head on that. Or the. Oh, jeez, and then I don't. I just threw up the scan. Okay. Oh my gosh. I am just wasting time. I'm pretty sure I already have these things. These are just the creatures anyway, they're not the trophies and I have, or the collectibles, I mean, I already have the collectibles, so I don't know what I'm doing, except for wasting a bunch of time. Okay, we're going to head back up here, and then we're just going to get our galaxy information. We're down to... 565,000 light years. Just motoring tonight. That's like 30,000 light years we've traveled tonight already, today, whatever it is. Okay, Galactic Center. Okay, where's our next black hole? There it is. Let's see, can I make it to this one? Oh! Yep. That's the one we want to go to, right? Yeah, untroubled, satisfactory. Mmm. All the delicious things that you could want in a space system. And I'm really hoping the audio is recording okay because I, um,. Uh, up to my filter settings for the noise the noise filter settings because I got the, the air conditioners are just on blast in here but it looks like it's doing okay it's kicking in it's, I don't you know hopefully it's okay boy that's a pretty planet over there All right, oh, I'm going to go to the pretty planet, I think. Black hole discovered. Uh, a Porbian planet. And guys, I'm going to have to get into these pistachios, I think. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I won't do it. I'll, I'll, re I'll restrain myself. Or will I? Maybe I can... Maybe I can do it without you guys even knowing. Comment below if you guys think I got into them pistachios. Oh, there's a... There's a rainbow. Oh, and it's the circle rainbow. Yeah, comment... Uh, leave me a comment if uh, you guys think I got into them pistachios before the episode was over. I'd like to know your thoughts, if you could tell if I was eating pistachios, or if you think uh, I wasn't eating pistachios. 
Okay, standard sentinels. That's fantastic. Get that stone of knowledge. And our core ordinance. Boom. Ordinance captured. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't think I would have ever uh, just been busting black hole to black hole, planet to planet, you know, just not doing any kind of, any kind of uh, exploration really, if they didn't make this contest, that's for sure. So these guys are a uh, genius to get this data, like running this contest. But we're at 564,000 light years. That's trucking right along, I think. Where are we at? Are we? Yeah, we're in a black hole system. This is the beginning of a black hole system. Oop, we need to go this way towards the black hole. Hold on, I can't see where the black hole is with that freighter in the way. <laughs> I don't want to go through the black hole with this ship. Be a pain in the butt. Boom! Out of my way, ship! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Get in here. So entry, exit, entry, exit, entry, exit, entry, exit, entry, exit, entry. Exit, entry. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm just uh, trying to make sure I can do this all with my photos. So I don't have to rewind and play it through and then try to figure out where I'm at. You know what I mean? That would all done. All the pictures taken as we zip through the black hole. You know, or maybe I've been eating pistachios this entire time. You guys, you know, no idea. No, you guys have no idea. Boom. Wow, that was the shortest jump through a black hole yet. 768. A thousand light years. I feel like there's a closer planet here. Yeah. Hey, and the anomalies, the anomalies here too. Everybody's joining the party here. Everybody's joining that party. Hey, free landing, which is good because I'm in the wrong ship. All right, what do we got? Hostile Sentinels, of course. Is there a walker here? Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, it's the dog. What up, dog? I'm just getting some some coordinates really quick here. Don't mind me. Come on, camera. Boot up. Come on, camera. Boot up, please. I don't want to get attacked. All right. Oh, 
don't care what's in that building, I'm leaving. Thank you. Actually, I really do care what's in that building. I really wanted to look. So what? Man, I'm losing it here, so... This is an exit system, so I need to switch ships, right? Yeah. Let's get this info. Since I'm not in the right ship, I gotta switch ships. Switching ships? Head on out here. And we're gonna get warping. Cause that was the that was the exit, right? Holy smokes, I you get to the right thing on my phone. Yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six completed systems. So that means I've got a total of seven entries with that. And we're going to the galactic core. There's a black hole right here. I'm going to go to the longest one up here, maybe, if I can get there. Come on. 939. Yeah, I can go there. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's ride. Let's. Zooming on through. Here we are. Get that picture taken. Got that such wild, uh, wide field of view. I don't don't necessarily care for, but is that is this a one planet system? I should have read. Better read all the stuffs. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go. And a system. What kind of planet is this? Temperate planet. Threatening sentinels. It's all right, don't worry about me, guys. I'm just getting some coordinates, and I'll be on my way. All right. Oh, come on. Yeah. Actually, it looks pretty cool on my phone. Looking at all the thumbnails of all the uh, coordinates and stuff, all the different colors and the locations. And get this info. All right, so we're 556,000. We've almost traveled 50,000 light years. That's a feat in and of itself, I think. 
been around this space station. I didn't think it would let me do that right away. That's so funny. Alright, we're gonna switch ships. Do another jump. Oh my gosh, here we are, okay. Man, I'm looking, <coughs> excuse me, looking a little closer at this bag of pistachios and I, and I bought the unsalted kind. Who buys unsalted pistachios? That's just disgusting. Unbelievable. And we're off, man. Off through, off through the next black hole. Just logging them like nobody's business tonight. All for, all for community research, of course. The prizes would be a nice add-on bonus, but not necessary. Okay, hey, where are we at? Hmm. The Amina Aminixia Luck System. All right. Boom, 801,000 light years. Man, it seems like just getting a little bit less now. We're not getting that 1.1 million light years travel through the black hole like we were before. But the good news is, is that the distance traveled in a black hole is not direct, directly uh, relative to the distance you're traveling to the center since you're kind of taking a shortcut basically so I could travel 500 light years through a black hole and then um, zip bang be um, be at the center you know even though the center was so many millions of light years away before or thousands of light years away I guess I'd be interested now to, um, I think I'm going to go back to when we first uh, entered Eisentam and uh, see what the distance to the center was when I started this, you know, when I started this save or when I started this portion of the game because, um, I think that would be super interesting to see exactly how far I've traveled since I've entered Eisentam. I don't know what you guys think. I think that'd be interesting. Alright, so we got that. We gotta get our data here now. And we are down to 551,000 light years in the center. So we didn't travel too far from the last time. But that's the way it goes. So we're on the back side of that. We're in our correct ship. But we need to head towards the center. There's a black hole. <coughs> Excuse me. 
man. There. Oh, jeez. Only 791 light years, but we're gonna go. Let's do it. Hey. Episode's been going recording for an hour and ten minutes. And that's um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Headed to our eighth black hole. Is that the nearest planet? Looks like it. All right, right dead center. Looks like a nice spot to go. I see planet with the frost crystals, so this could be an ocean actually now that I'm thinking about it. Since it's green. be headed right for the center of the ocean which we are awesome okay well at least there's a spot to land right over here Can we land on this little tiny island <laughs> oh there's another little island but yeah let's land on this one sure why not Medar C forty two. Okay. Oh, getting getting low on that launcher, launch thruster fuel. Oh, whoops, I forgot to get, uh, obviously I didn't forget, otherwise I would have forgotten, but I didn't do this yet. Gotta get system data, 550,000 light years away from the center. Get up here, call in the freighter. Blow down before we smack into the side of it. And go get our Black hole ship. man. Boom. the freighter wow that's the shortest jump yet 674,000 light years hmm 
Mm -hmm. I wonder why the jumps are getting shorter through the light, through the black holes. is kind of kind of bothering me a little bit I guess you know I'm trying to get max distance every single time oh, this is a spooky planet look at this thing I'm doing like this oh, I don't want that other I don't want that Boral? Boral planet? What's that mean? Oh, it's an anomalous planet. Do I have this collectible? I want to say that I do, but at the same time, I am not certain. Honestly, I don't think so. That's going to put a kink in things a little bit. I didn't even look and see what kind of sentinels were here. Corvax casing and stuff and things. You know, I don't think I have this collectible, whatever it may be. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Do the story here. What's going on with this? What's going on with this iteration? A terminal blinks awaiting input. Let's download that data. Scenario portal network protocol breach enabled. The end is the beginning, and the beginning is the end. The walls of the multiverse collapse, and traveler can see traveler, friend can see foe. All hope is lost. The end approaches. There is no time and no space to say how much I love life. Only fear is left. Well, that sounds terrifying. I may have to go into my discoveries because I don't know what kind of sentinels are on the slow security. All right, good to know. Um, before we get too too carried away and forget what we're actually doing here, let's get our coordinates. Okay, and this is the exit side, right? Yeah, it doesn't end in 79. Okay, well, shoot, I need to find a couple question marks, because... Ah, there's like nothing here. Where is all the stuff at? Hold on, let me see. If I go to log, to the guide... Crafted products, I think it's under. Where are the collectibles? There we go. So yeah, I don't think I have this one. Just looking at these things, these don't look like anything that's... Oh, right here, maybe, yeah, Cal... Calcia Shroom. Stabilized Reality Glitch. I have these. I've got these. False alarm. Oh, that's kind of nice. Can I get this in here like this? Maybe. Boom. I 
also want a picture of how it is. How it is, yo. I found it 75, I think, is the standard field of view. Yeah, good enough. All right. Done all this mess. Where's my ship at? It's over here. Okay, we got to get our system data there and let me just check so that's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight that's a total of eight black holes logged my friends so we can get on out of here Head towards the old galactic core. Black hole to the right. I think we're just gonna head right along. This looks like the winner. Boom. Oh, Ooh, there's one, uh, 1002. So this one's probably too far, yeah. There's one ahead here. Ready? Set. Go. Heading towards those black holes. Where did we end up? Erglaze? Boom, just like that. Okay, where is our favorite closest planet? There it is. Okay, where are we at? This looks like a good spot to land. High security, all right, well, let's get out of here as fast as we can then. Got it. Thanks for shopping. Always shop smart. Shop as smart. And there's our little black beauty. How's that? Is that okay to say? Black beauty? I don't know. Talk about black holes, people. Black holes. And in we go. Switch out to our black hole ship. Up and over and through the woods. To the black hole we go.
All right, hold on. Did I get? Shoot, I don't. I don't remember. No, I need to. I almost, <laughs> almost didn't get my system data. That wouldn't have been good. Wouldn't have been good at all. Yeah, let me double check. Okay. Okay, so that's the entry point. All right. Got in our black hole ship here. I'm doing this again. Now we're gonna head on through the old black hole, the old black hole. And here we go. And I'm still looking at this bag of pistachios thinking, when did they make unsalted pistachios? Who would make such a thing? This is ridiculous. Unsalted pistachio nuts. 55,000 light years. Shortest one yet. Not even 100,000 light years. Well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? We're just logging these black holes, that's all. Trying to make it toward the center. Hit the wrong button. Out of my way! Didn't quite get a scan that time. It looks a little chilly though. So this is our black hole exit point. Oh, no, no, I hit the wrong button. So that was the exit point, so we need to take a picture here. Okay. That's got us one, two, three, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That gets us that gets us one magic ticket, friends. That got us our magic ticket. Let's head towards the center again. We're down to like 50, yeah, we were down to 54 or something thousand light years. Out of jump range. Okay, well. They so. Put you over here. Probably get over there. No, nope, out of range. Shoot, 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 shoot. I 
that's out of range. Okay, here's one right here. Oops. Ah, oh, dang, I did it again. How do I get out of here? Deflect. My location. Gosh darn it, I just found a black hole. Up over here somewhere. Was it this one? It was like a thousand some light years. No, it wasn't that one. Was it this guy? Up here, this guy maybe. Ooh, there it is. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm losing it. Oh my goodness. I did it twice in a row. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's over here. Go to the end of the road here. Look up. Over to here. There it is. Okay, right. Boom. Selected. And we're going to warp there this time. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. The wife says she's ready to come home. So I got to tell her it's okay. And this is probably going to be our last black hole. Okay, the Fossad system. Okay, well, let's head on down to this planet. They take me to the space station, I suppose. High radio source planet. It's a donut hole planet. With some star bulbs. Got some radiation, got some average sentinels. Thinking about going to get in that star ball, but you know what? Not really worth it. Ooh, I'm all out of launcher fuel. Do I have any left? Ooh, yeah, I got one more. One more left. Next episode's gonna have to be doing a little resource gathering, I'm afraid. I need to um, get this before I forget. Head on over to the black hole. Call up the Preta. Get our junker ship. I shouldn't say it. I mean, it's not really a junk. It's a nice. It's a nice vessel. 
No reason to put it down like it's a junker ship. Oh, I landed right on it. Okay, and we are headed through the black hole. Gosh darn it, I don't remember. I've been texting the wife, and now I don't remember if I've gotten everything I need. And it looks like I do, so let's get it going. No, I don't want to talk to you guys. I'm going through a black hole right now. Sorry, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. What was that? Oh, I can't hear you. Oh, gee. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, folks, last black hole of the night. Hmm, man, that is a nice looking system. All right, we need to call up our Preta. There we go, back over a million light years, that's better. Oh, I just hit my mic, sorry about that guys, I had an itch on my face. my way asteroid we got new Nubian Nubian new Nubian verdant planet yeah all right Nice little plan. Look, they cleared a spot for me to land in here. How nice. Oh my gosh, it's a crater. It's a crater. Okay, get a photo of the bad boy here. Got it. this all right man so we made it the 531,000 light years that's okay we gotta see here um, okay, we started off at 595 727 595 727 was calculated 595 727 minus 531 277 and that's 64,000 light years today people that is got to be some kind of record for yours truly and I'm happy I could have done it for you. I could have done did it for you here today on the adventure. We got a little bit of time. I want to go to the I want to go to the capital ship, not to the space station. It's taking me to the space station. Well, you know I gotta. I'm gonna go to the space station, I guess too. So we'll go to the space station first, I guess, and then we'll go back to back to the old uh, freighter. And we're gonna send the frigate boys out on a mission here and debrief them from their last since we got a little time here at the end of the episode which one am I going I gotta go over here 
Oh, it's a tight squeeze. Oh boy. Oh. What's up, space face? Long time no see. Yeah, entity Corvax gag by Keen Corvax. Mm hmm. Yep. Blueprints. Mmm. Delicious. All right, what do we got? Room for knife. That's it. Oh, nothing. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for the wasted time, buddy. Look at this guy. I don't know, a good looking explorer. Does it transform when it flies off? I'm kind of curious if it does. Man, everybody is C class around here except for this guy, the old yellow bee. The old yellow bee, what are you? There's a bee, the old hand melody. Or the raging mistress. <laughs> I don't think I should pick that ship. That ship up, you know. Probably get in trouble. Nobody likes the raging mistress. Come on, take off. Whoop. Take off, you raging mistress. I want to see if you're wing thingies rotate and stuff. There we go. No, they don't? No, is it? Okay, well. That's too bad. Alright, we're headed out. Oh, we need, we're trying to go to the... Capital ship here. Whoa! Thundercats! Ho! Oh. Hey, you can't park that there. Oh, uh, now my ships are all goofed up. Crap, where's my ship at now? Well, this is the one I want. Never mind. <laughs> there. No, what am I doing? I don't want to get in a different ship. I want to go up here and talk. Holy cow, guys. I'm all messed up. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. I want to go up here and talk to... Debrief my frigates. And then send them off on another mission. Fleet Command, Fleet Command Online, Calibrating Fleet Commander, Debrief Commander. Alright, 1,464, got 36,000 units, 38 magnetized ferrite, 26,000 units, 34,000 units, 36,000 units, 38,000 units, a lot of units. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of units there. All right, navigator. What do we got? We got we got some expeditions that are potentially available. Is that what we got? Ooh, okay, 128. I guess we're gonna do the old conducting productive opportunities mission. One of one of our favorites here on the channel. Yes. Be safe. Be safe in your travels. Bring me back units and other loot and stuff. All right, so we're at the endpoint system, right? So I guess we're gonna warp to the next black hole system. We got time. I got time. You got time. I got time. We got time. Time is of the essence, right? Oh boy, yep, yeah. alright, well, you're just, we're just warping on out of here, so you just never mind about the threat. The Galactic Core, okay, okay, we're headed towards whatever black hole is nearest along the Galactic Hole, Galactic Center. 
only 655 light years. What this guy up here? Out of jump range. Now there's one. B. I think it's going to be out of jump range as well. Oh, real close. We can get there. Let's go. Let's do this. Trying to get a few more light years under the belt today. So let's see what we got here. Let's take another picture. What do we get? Black hole. How come it didn't tell me how far I went? Oh, it's because I didn't go through the black hole. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, you guys want to get sassy about it. It's fine. Okay. Boom, just like that. Alright. Let's see. I want... I'm going to go to the space station, I think. See if they got any goodies here. Oh, first I want to see where we're at in ice. So we are 53040. Now I'm not going to log this black hole until next episode, I think. Right? Right. Whoa, that was a pretty good move, I must say. That was pretty Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth there. 534 04. 530. 404. Oh, it doesn't. Um, yeah, okay. That's fine. Let's go see if they got any goodies here. Another space face. What's up, buddy? Yeah, what do we got? Uh, S-Class Positron. Pulse Engine. I don't need a Pulse Engine. What I need is some, um... Thinking... What are they called? Launch Thruster. Efficient Thruster Modules, man. That's what a guy wants. Look at all this hyperdrive. I've only used just over half my hyperdrive fuel tonight, and I still got six more warp cells to go. And I got three antimatters chilling. Just waiting to be used up. And get some more ferrite dust to build out the rest of those antimatter housings. That's pretty good. Doing pretty good. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make some more warp. Oh yeah, actually, you know what? Since I'm here. I'm on the wrong side of the station, but I can go over here, I guess. Let's go buy some more warp uh, launch thruster. Launch thruster fuel. Kind of freaked out for a minute. I couldn't see my microphone hanging off my headset, and I was like, "Oh, did I flip that up at some point?" But no, it was, it's still there. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you guys got launch thruster fuel here? Huh? Oxygen filters? No launch thruster fuel. Oh, gee, many Christmas. All right. Well, you know, I'm my white chair. What is this thing? A eight class Amatoa of the Moon? Our ship? Is that a eight class fighter? 
A class explorer? A class fighter? Is this A class central here in this in this place? Might be. But like I said, I think that's gonna do it for me. Just getting another restore point save. So thanks for watching my friends. I do hope you guys enjoyed tonight's episode. It turned out to be a little longer than I expected, but no longer than I deserve or you deserve. Well, thanks for hanging out. I think we did uh, 10 black holes. Nine or ten, maybe almost a, almost ten, maybe almost whatever it is. It's fine. Traveled like several thousand light years. I forget how many light years it is now, but I said it earlier. You guys know what I'm talking about. So thanks for hanging out with me. Leave me a comment below. Did I have some pistachios tonight while I was playing or not? I do hope you guys are participating in the Black Hole Suns logging event. So until next time, we will see you in the simulation. Peace.